Words hold tremendous power over our lives. They shape our beliefs, influence our behavior, and ultimately create the world around us. When we hear or speak certain words, we experience emotional responses that can be either positive or negative. Quantum physics has shown us that physical matter is not real, rather, everything is energy in different states of vibration. This means that life is more of an energy flow than a collection of solid things. By being conscious of the energy we contain based on our emotions, we can make deliberate choices that alter our frequency and create the realities we desire. Words are potent tools that we can use to uplift our personal energy and improve our lives. However, we are often not conscious of the words we speak, read, and expose ourselves to. Even the words of others can easily affect our personal vibration. Spending time with a chronic complainer who uses negative terms can bring down our personal energy. Masaru Emoto's experiments in the 1990s showed that the energy generated by positive or negative words can change the physical structure of an object. For example, water that was free from impurities formed beautiful ice crystals that looked like snowflakes under a microscope. However, when polluted or labeled with negative phrases, the water no longer crystallized and yielded gray misshapen clumps instead of beautiful lace like crystals we must be mindful of the words we use because they bring either positive or negative energy into our vibration and affect us on a physical level our bodies are over 70 percent water so the vibration from negative words resonates quickly in our cells therefore we must choose our words wisely and speak only positivity and love into our lives some of us are in the habit of using the same negative words over and over again out of habit. The problem is that the more we hear, read, or speak a word or phrase, the more power it has over us. This is because the brain uses repetition to learn, searching for patterns and consistency as a way to make sense of the world around us. Only after being burned a few times can we understand that fire is always hot. You may not remember the exact end date of the Civil War. But odds are you still know what 8 by 9 is because you had to repeat your multiplication tables over and over again. Drilling it into your consciousness. I'm sure you've experienced having a song stuck in your head all day long, and try as you might, you just can't get the melody out of your head. Repetition is the most powerful tool to imprint something into our minds and keep it there. This is of particular concern when we consider a phenomenon called the illusion of truth effect. It basically proves that any statement we read, see, or speak regularly is seen as more valid than one we're exposed to only occasionally. Amazingly, it makes no difference whether the information is true or false. The only thing that matters is how often we're exposed to it. Research from the University of California at Santa Barbara clearly shows that a weak message repeated twice becomes more valid than a strong message heard only once. Even one repetition has the power to change our minds. The same goes for pictures, which are just thoughts and ideas concentrated into an image. Repetition increases our mental validation of anything we're exposed to, which is why it works so well in political propaganda. If we're not fully conscious of what we're exposing ourselves to, consistency will trump truth every time. Now consider how many times you've falsely called yourself stupid, untalented, ugly, or anything else, and you begin to understand how your internal propaganda shapes a false self-image. Our words have immense power and can greatly impact the people around us. By choosing our words carefully, we can make someone feel happy and uplifted, while avoiding hurting others. Repetition is a powerful tool for imprinting thoughts and ideas in our minds, which can lead to the illusion of truth effect. Therefore, it's important to be mindful of the words we use, both when talking about ourselves and when talking about others. We should aim to avoid negative self-talk and gossip, and instead focus on positive affirmations and uplifting language. By doing so, we can create a more positive and loving environment for ourselves and those around us. Please help us to reach more people don't forget to subscribe and leave us a like to make our channel grow. Thank you for watching.